In order to know if the, resist, if the problem with the patient is a resistance or a compliance problem, again, we need to take a look at both the uh, PIP and the plateau. In this particular case, if our peak inspiratory pressure went up to, let's say, 25, but the plateau remained the same at 15, again, you can see that the difference is increasing. As the PIP and the plateau widens, assuming that the plateau stays the same, then we could conclude that this is an area resistance problem. Again, any increase in PIP with no change in the plateau, that means it is an area resistance problem. However, if you see any changes on the plateau, as long as it does not um, go above three centimeters of water pressure, so that means 16 or 17, uh, then that means it's not a significant change. So we could still consider these changes in plateau as remaining the same. Hence the PIP, the difference between the PIP and the plateau is still an area resistance problem.